what's up what's up what's up i just wanted to drop in on you guys and give you a little chatter on this nice thursday i have some things that i want to talk to you about in the entertainment world first thing that i want to talk to you guys about is orlando brown if you guys aren't familiar with him he's um from that so raven um the raven simone show that was out um some years back on um disney channel he's a very sad to say he's a very um talented guy it's a shame that you know his life is spiraling out of control now um sometimes that's what happens when you know giving fame at a young age and maybe if, i don't know what his upbringing was like with his family or whatever like that so yeah, it's a sad, it's a sad, it's a sad thing to watch him, you know, being, um, you know, just taken over by, you know, his demons. Um, they report that he's, you know, on drugs, you know, allegedly. I mean, I'm not sure what he does, but something just doesn't seem right with him. So he comes out and did a couple videos saying that Nick Cannon sucked his peen. Yes, you guys heard me right. He said Nick Cannon sucked his peen. And he said he actually liked it. <laughs> this, these are his words, not mine. He said he actually liked it. So jokingly, he said Nick doesn't want him to come on Wild on Out because if he do, he gonna spill the beans. Now I'm not exactly sure if I believe him or not. Well, I don't believe him. I think this was just his little ploy to try to get Nick Cannon to have him on Wild and Out. But buddy, this is it's better ways to, you know, do that than go viral for saying a man sucks your opinion and you actually liked it. Now a friend of mine had um a point because I think she was kind she was um leaning towards believing him because she said you know, it's a shame that when you know people have afflictions for as like mental illness, drug abuse, a lot of people try to dismiss what they say. And not sometimes it, it may be true, but since he has, you know, people have a history of just saying reckless and doing reckless things, people write him off as just, you know, talking nonsense. Now, she has some truth to that because I remember years back when that Raz B stuff took place when he claimed that Chris Stokes, you know, molested him as a child and, you know, uh, was abusing the other man, you know, bandmates um, and B2K. Now, this is all alleged because nothing has been, you know, proven to be factual. But I believe Rasby. I don't know about you guys, but I believe him. And I, um, I really think that he was you know, um, betrayed as a um, young child. And the, the, th the effects of that happening to him then is what we're seeing now. And that's why he was going back and forth with the Millennium, Millennium Tour, dropping out every other week, spiraling out of control with that. I think he had like a domestic abuse abuse um case pending. You know, all those are effects of childhood trauma. And I really do think something happened there. So she is right um, to that effect, you can't always write someone off just because they known to do, you know, reckless things. But in this case, I just think this is just him being crazy as always, as usual. And I, I don't, I, I really don't believe it. Now, somebody else come out and debate the claim and maybe have proof of it happen, pictures or something like that, then I'll believe it. But at this particular point, bye boy. Nick Cannon did come out, did a long Instagram post. And I'm not going to read it. I'm, I'm Basically, he came out and just denied it. And he blamed, you know, social media. He blamed news outlets. And, um, you know, how they deal with, like, stories and how they put negative stuff in the press. And basically, like, this young man don't need laughs. He need help. And Nick Cannon is true. I mean, it's telling the truth. A lot of things... Um, that we see in the media cause has an effect on people's real personal, real life um, problems. And social media just amplifies that. But, you know, but I mean, hey, we haven't, we didn't ask anybody to sign up for those jobs either. So if you don't want to be in the limelight or you don't want the, you know, people to know what's going on in your life, you, you can simply log off and simply just go into seclusion if you don't want to be in entertainment anymore. So, that's the, I mean, it's sad to say, but it's kind of part of the job that people was going to poke and pry 
in your life. And it's, it's not cool. It's not fair. I wouldn't like it if I was a celebrity, but hey, it's been going on before you was before you was famous and it's going to go on long after you're going. It's just how it is. So moving on, we have Wendy Williams and her husband, Kelvin Hunter. His name is actually Kelvin, not Kevin, but he goes by Kevin, but it's Kelvin. They are officially divorced. Um, the um, divorce is final. I think it took place sometime this week. Um, Wendy Williams um, is going to leave the marriage with um, owning a Florida residence. She's going to be able to keep that. They have to split the New Jersey home that they share 50-50. And they also um, had um, joint ownership in the production company. So he has to sell back his shares to Wendy. So she's going to have full control over the company. So, you know... I'm pretty sure she out of some coins, but at least she don't have that headache. At least she ain't raising his bastard child. So, kudos to Wendy. Hopefully, you know, her life uh, continues to blossom. And maybe she can stop with, you know, some of the messy stuff. Be, 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 be a good friend to your, fr your friends, Wendy. If someone's calling you, telling you something personal and confident um, and confiding um, in you, don't mis uh, don't misuse the um, trust in you for ratings and likes and stuff like that. Be a friend to your friends, Wendy. That's all I got to say because if you don't learn from your lessons, a lot of people was mad at you, but in your time of need, a lot of people was lifting you up. So give them that same energy um, when, they, when they down and out. Please be a better friend. That's all I got to say about that. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the Juice World situation. If you guys... Um, are familiar with him. He was like a um, young rapper from Chicago. He recently um, passed tragically two months ago um, after um, getting off an airplane. Yeah, he was, I, I don't know where he was coming from. I don't know if he was on tour or something like that, but yeah, he was on an airplane. And I think that the, um, the pilot notified uh, officials that it was some drug paraphernalia going on on a plane and when they got off they were checked and reports came out that he actually swallowed a lot of contents just to um so the fbi wouldn't be able to find you know find it i don't know how true th those reports are but that was the story that was being um reported back when things was going on so the autopsy report came out that it was oxycodone and codeine filmed in his system now that can Back up the claims that people said he swallowed it, but we all know he was on drugs as well. He he, he talked about it freely in his music, and that's what took him out. Now, I wanted to talk about that this story in particular because it's a lot of our youth is being um, steered and guided towards um, doing drugs. It's being um, glorified in these rap songs. All these celebrities, you know, talk about lean and, you know, pills and this, that, and the other. You, you kids, even adults, because it's not all kids that's doing it. You people have to smarten up. These drugs are taking people out of here. They, they're taking people out of here. What you had, Juice World, Mac Miller, um, um, Chief Keith Cousin, I, um, I think, Something Santana, all these guys passed away from drugs, not even the streets. Drugs took them out. I lost two people close to me from drugs. Drugs. Your people are laying in the graveyards for drugs. That does not make any bit of sense to me. If you know someone that is dealing with these issues, please try to get them help. Please try to get them help. I'm, I mean, I've never been addicted to anything, and I can't really speak for uh, um, a person that's addicted to something. But all I'm saying is if you know someone that is addicted to drugs and, and uh, somebody you care about, please do everything you can to try to help them kick their habit because they might not be here tomorrow. Uh, and that's what I have to say about that. Sorry to end this video on a sad note. But I felt like I felt compelled to say that because it's a lot of you. We we using losing a lot of youth behind drugs when they could have went on to be bigger and better, do bigger and better things. And you know that's just hit home, close to home. 
So that's what I have today. If you guys like the video, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That's all I have. Holla at your girl. Bye.